a bus. Wrestling. And now, here's your announcer, Charlie Platt. Well, hello, everybody. Thank you, studio audience. What a crowd we have here, Scott Armstrong. Another edition of USA Wrestling. And uh, a capacity crowd in the studio. Thank all of you for coming out. We have got one exciting hour on the way. What about that magnificent Magliano will be in action today? That's exactly right. You know, he has been running his mouth on every show so far. Today is his very first time here, right here live on television. Exciting tag team combination who kind of popped in on us last week, if you will. Those Bama Bucks will be in action today. The uh, special presentation of the career of a universal heartthrob, Austin Idol. We'll have that on the show. Russian warhead, Boris Zukov. Mr. Tennessee, and uh, a lot of things happening already in the USA wrestling area. The, uh, we understand the bounty has gone up somewhat on the bullet by Jim Cornette. That's exactly right. Mama Cornette has reached way down deep into her pocketbook, and she's up the bounty, and I was kind of wondering what that bounty is. Another thing I was noticing here, too, talking about big bucks, is the Iron Sheik is going to be on here today. And, you know, every week he's talked about swinging those clubs and having that $10,000 challenge. I understand today there's someone here to accept the $10,000 challenge. Live on television today, along with a personality profile from Simply Divine, it's an action-packed hour. Stay with us here today for USA Wrestling. Let's go to the ring for our first match of the day. This first match, one fall, 10-minute time limit. In the corner of my left, weighing in at 228 pounds from Honolulu, Hawaii, here's Chris. Sullivan, Sullivan. And ladies and gentlemen, making his first television wrestling appearance, weighing in at 225 pounds, one of the finalists of the junior tournament, would you welcome the magnificent one, Joey Maggs, Maggs. Well, wait a minute, Mike Graham, I thought I made the point, you called me Magnificent Magliano from this point on, got it? If you will, the Magnificent Magliano. Magnificent Magliano taking on Chris Sullivan on this edition of USA Wrestling. Another uh, thing, I understand that, uh, hopefully get him out a little bit later on, uh, possibly another message has been sent to the Universal Heartthrob, Austin Idol, uh, from this mystery person who keeps sending the messages in. Boy, well, the bell sounds, we're ready for action. Uh, what do we know about this Chris Sullivan? Well, I, I don't know a whole lot about Chris Sullivan, and uh, I really don't know a whole lot about this magnificent Magliano, except he is a very cocky and arrogant individual, Charlie. A I'll tell you right now, you know, uh, he, he's in the ring, he's trying to uh, look like psychologically take out his opponent right off the bat, but he's not going to be able to do that in Chris Sullivan, I don't believe. Good from behind takedown on Chris Sullivan by the magnificent Magliano, and he is a world traveler, this magnificent Magliano, uh, not only in the hunt for the junior heavyweight title in USA Wrestling, but uh, he has been competing all over the world. Yes, yeah, so I've heard, Charlie, you know, every week he's sending an interview from different places, the Cow Palace and all these other places, saying that he's working his way right to the top of this tournament. And I, to be honest with you, hope that he does. You know, I was very fortunate last week to get a win right here on TV against the top-seeded gentleman in this tournament. And I know for a fact that if Joey Ma is a magnificent Magliano, as he wants to be sure called, get it right, yeah, right. no doubt he'll have a hissy fit. But next week... Without a doubt, he's got the man himself, Davey Rich, is going to come back next week right here on television. If he gets through this match right here, he's going to have Davey, Mitch, Davey Rich. And I know for a fact that Davey Rich is a top seed in this tournament also. No doubt about the credentials of one Davey Rich as far as uh, the ability to compete in that squared circle. Good elbow by the magnificent Magliano. Comes up, catches his man, side headlock on Chris Sullivan clamping down with the break. Well, look at that Sullivan. Oh, nice uh, leg lock there. He came up, come back up with the arm, though. He's going to keep the advantage, keep him down. You know, if a man's on the mat, there's not much he can do, Charlie. Good uh, series of moves by Sullivan. Forearm breaks up that arm bar by Sullivan on Magliano. Good reversal here by Sullivan. Oh, as you can see right there, Magliano goes right to the hair for the hair pull. See, he takes a shortcut. If he's such an international traveler and such a wrestling superstar as he claims to be, I don't understand why he'd have to take a shortcut like that and pull a man's hair. I don't know. He seems to be taking a lot of time here, Charlie. Uh, maybe he's trying to figure out what Chris Sullivan's all about, huh? 
Tie up again, over to the turnbuckle they go. Referee calling for the break. Oh, good knee before the count of five. And there you see an open palm slap to Chris Sullivan by the magnificent one, Magliano. And oh, there's that boot. There it is, brother. And he caught it right in the kisser. Oh, he caught it that time. He's a, oh, vicious. Looked like it hit him right in the top of his head there, Charlie. And the, we see from uh, the action so far, Magnificent Magliato has some abilities to do some of the high-flying action we're used to seeing with you, Scott. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, I, I didn't really know this being his very first match. I didn't know what, what kind of uh, outlook he'd have on it, and it doesn't look like he's done much high-flying. It looks like he's biting, kicking, scratching, and gouging, and, uh, you know, that's not really much uh, credit for a junior heavyweight, in my opinion, Charlie. Now it's Magliano. Snap there, take down. And Chris Sullivan clamping down with that pressure. He's got that rear chin lock on him, Charlie. And I'll tell you right now, that'll take the breath right away from you. He's got that knee firmly planted right between those shoulder blades. You see right there, a good shot from Earl, the main man, cameraman right there. He's got it locked into that handheld camera. And what a shot that is, taking everybody at home right into the center of the ring. You can see the pressure. He's got it applied. He's pulling back on his head. Sullivan's fighting for a breath there. I'll tell you right now, nothing will take it out of you like that right there, Charlie. And he will, continues to wear his man down. Now, still to come to see action today, you'll see those Bama Bucks in action, along with uh, Mr. Tennessee Russian warhead Boris Sukov. We'll be talking with the Bullet. And it's interesting to see what his comments are about supposedly this uh, Andy being kind of lifted some on the bounty on his mask. Yes, that's exactly right. He said he's having to have eyes in the back of his head, and there's no doubt about it. He's going to have to. You can see right here, Sullivan, he's trying to mount an offense. He's caught him with a couple elbows. He comes off the rope. Ooh! Vicious knee right in the lower stomach right there from the Magnificent One. And the Magnificent One takes his man up now. Let's see where he'll go with it from here. Good block by Sullivan. And a hard right at the side of the head. Hear him? Oh, and another one. Barely grazed his chin there. And then again, he hits the ropes. He comes off. Boom! Good clothesline by Sullivan. Maybe not a full impact clothesline. Two count and Magliano powers out. But hey, it was the effort that counted on that. Would have got him out of the sight. But right, here comes Sullivan. He's up on the ropes. He's mailing him. You can hear the people in this studio audience. They're going crazy. Counting the punches. They're wanting him to knock, the, knock Magliano's brains out, it looks like. There's a reversal. There comes. Ooh. Whoa. That was vicious, Charlie. That was really vicious. You know, I heard he, he's, he's got a move he calls the magnificent moment. And it looks like this is it. The M&M, &M, another magnificent moment for Mr. Magliano. And there we see the kiss blown by the magnificent Magliano. Three count, it is over. It is over. And it goes down the record books. First time on television as far as competition in the ring is concerned at USA. The win will go to the magnificent Magliano. And let's, if we could take a look at that again, uh, a move they call the magnificent moment, I believe is what you term is we're about to see here, first of all, good flying block. Put your man down on the canvas. Magnificent Magliano joining us here at ringside. And what we're about to see is something you call the magnificent moment. Am I correct on that? That's right. Everybody's entitled to at least one magnificent moment in their life. Any of our opponents, this will be theirs. Keep your mouth shut. Well, we're about to see that in action, and since you did survive and uh, came out with a very impressive win over Chris Sullivan, it is my understanding that next week you will be facing top seed on television, Davey Rich. Yeah, 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 Davey Rich, Davey Rich. Another Alabama redneck. We'll see what he's got next week. There you see the magnificent moment and the one, two, three. It's over for Chris Sullivan, your winner of the match again, Magnificent Magliano. All right, next week on television is Davey Rich and another top seed in the remaining six for the junior heavyweight title is, of course, Scott Armstrong. Scott Armstrong. I'm getting so sick and tired of hearing this Armstrong name. I'm not that impressed. Well, since you were not with us last week uh, on television, we thought it only fair to let you see what Scott Armstrong has been looking like in action on USA Wrestling in some past weeks. So well, let's roll that, Jerry, if we could. Second rope. We'll see. Oh, nobody. <laughs> yeah, you got it before. Nobody home. And here's what Scott Armstrong is all about. Look at that fire on it, Scotty. Ooh. Ooh. He racked him, but the big man didn't go there. Good for him. Another 
another shot to the side of the head. Anything from the top of second is risky, Charlie, any time. Whoa! Somebody at home. Beautiful. It's over. That flying body press got it done. And you... I'm strong, another victory on television. You know, I'm getting sick and tired of this. It's getting real monotonous. All I hear everywhere I go is Scott Armstrong, this Scott Armstrong, that. Let me go on record right now. As far as I'm concerned, every Armstrong, starting from the top all the way down to the brothers, right down to Scott, are nothing but cowards. They're Alabama rednecks, and they're cowards. Is it... <laughs> 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 Hey, brother, I don't know what you're thinking. I got a monitor back there in my dressing room, and I've heard every word you're saying. I'm going to give you the opportunity to say one word of that to my face. Wait a minute, Scotty. I don't know exactly what you think you heard back there. Maybe there's a, a misunderstanding. You took something I said out of context maybe a little bit. Uh, what I really wanted to say, if you wouldn't have cut me off so short, was that I have nothing but respect for you and for your family. The Armstrong name is held with respect all around the world. And, brother, if it comes down to you and I in the finals, like it looks like it's going to, uh, it'd be an honor to be in the ring with you. Uh, may the best man win. That's what I thought you'd say. Oh, there you have, Robert. I guess he just proved... I guess he just proved my point. He's a coward. He came out here during my interview time, and what did he do? He stuck his tail between his legs and went back to the dressing room. He's probably hiding behind his dad or one of his brothers, or he's hiding in a locker or something. Scott Armstrong, when this tournament comes down to the finals, I'm going to prove to you and to all of you illiterate rednecks that I'm all there is. The magnificent Magliano, those Bama Bucks are in action next on USA Wrestling. Stay with us. USA Wrestling continues. Don't you dare go away. Now there are only six. I'm talking about the U.S. Junior Tournament, the prestigious USA Wrestling Tournament held right here, the finals in Batwell Auditorium. Where else but Batwell, Scott? March the 15th, 7.30 p.m. And Scott, right now, the way it looks, you're one of the favorites. Well, I appreciate that, Mike. You know, it looks like they're calling it the Battle of Batwell. It's all just like it used to be Monday night, same old, same old. March the 15th, Monday night, right there at Boutwell Auditorium, brother. And uh, there's going to have the finals of the Junior Heavyweight Tournament that night, and I sure want to be one of, one of the finalists. And I understand you got some comments from a guy who calls himself Mag Magnificent Magliano. Well, you've got to hear him. He's very self-considered. Let's go to him. You know, I'm getting sick and tired of this. All I keep hearing is Scott Armstrong this and Scott Armstrong that. How Scotty's a favorite in this tournament. <laughs> you know, when this tournament began, there were 20 men entered. And I took it upon myself to travel all over this country. And I've defeated just about every top contender in this tournament. I've been to Florida. I've been out to Texas. I was in the San Francisco Cal Palace. <laughs> Scott Armstrong, you were here in Alabama in the Cal Pasture. With my track record, I should be the favorite. I guess you people here in Alabama don't understand reality. I'll make you understand. Next week, right here on television, Davey Rich has entered in this tournament. <laughs> and I'm going to use this match to prove to you, Scott Armstrong, and to prove to all of you people in Birmingham that I'm all there is. Scott, Birmingham, a great wrestling town, and he did say one thing. He has eliminated a lot of the men. Yes, he has, but this week he's got Davey Rich, and I know for a yeah. fact he's going to have a rough time this next week yes, against Davey Rich. But he's talking about being in the cow pastures, Alabama. That's right, brother. I've been doing some planting and some raising, and I'm going to plant one of these Armstrong knuckles across your head, and I'm going to raise some lumps on it, Mr. Magliano. You can head back to Baltimore, Maryland, or wherever you're from. Take a big hike, brother. I don't even want to know where that is, but I'll tell you right now, when it comes to the battle of Boutwell, well, you can bet Superkick Scott Armstrong is going to beat. This special television match, tag event, one fall, 10-minute time limit. In the corner to my right, weighing in at a combined weight of 452 pounds, the team of the Raging Bull, Randy Barber and Johnny Superstar Star. And ladies and gentlemen, needing no introduction, making their way to the ringside area from the cradle of the Confederacy, weighing in at 478 pounds combined. Here are the Bama Bucks, Wildcat, Swindle Cooley, and Steve Armstrong. Well, there we see the Bama Bucks. 
Steve Armstrong and Wildcat Wendell Cooley. And what a what an entrance they made last week on USA Wrestling, Scotty. Without a doubt, and I think they shocked somebody uh, called Simply Divine, would you say, Charlie? Them boys didn't know whether it's coming or going, but they sure tore up when they saw Steve and Wendell Wildcat Cooley hit the ring. Brother. We got a personality profile coming up a little bit later in today's program with uh, Simply Divine, and they were simply irate that I showed the tape from last week's uh, uh, edition of USA Wrestling. Up and over his man goes Wildcat Wendell Cooley. Wendell Cooley, look at him. He's moving like a junior heavyweight, and he's he's got to be 240. Look at, oh my God. He almost touched the lights here in the studio. Oh, flying drop. Oh my God. Over. Took him over the top, brother. Block, big block. That boy's still holding this back. He don't know whether he's coming or going. And Steve and Wendell are kicking booty and taking names in the ring. Here comes with a big knee lift. Well, Woo! The raging bull is beating a hastily retreat outside on the floor right now. I'll tell you what, those Bama Bucks are taking it to them, brother. They are taking it to them, Charlie. Big arm drag. Wildcat Wendell Cooley moving quick as a cat. In come Brother Steve. Don't take that arm and twist it all the way off. Steve's arm's about as big as that whole boy's body is, Charlie. And again, back into a hammerlock. Well, Johnny Starr caught Steve with an elbow. There was a tag. I don't know if that boy saw. Ooh, kick right to the face. Kick right to the face. Steve picks him up. Look, fist him right up. Presses him in the air and slams him. There goes that elbow into the upper chest area by Wildcat Wendell Cooley. Again, going to the left arm of Johnny Starr. A good chop to the upper chest area. Puts a man down on the canvas. And for all of you who would like to attend the tapings of USA Wrestling, we tape every Saturday afternoon at the Channel 18 Studios in Dothan, Alabama. It's on Highway 52 East. Alabama Highway 52 East. Our tape rolls at 1.30, and no matter where you are, the state of Alabama, or maybe up in Tennessee, Mississippi, Georgia, Florida, all over the southeast where you're watching this tape, if you have plans of traveling in the Dothan, Alabama area, stop by at 1.30 on Saturday afternoon and be a part of this tremendous audience. I'll tell you what, Charlie, that's exactly right. You know, you can see Steve and Wendell working great as a team. And that, right now, they've been, you know, they've been down there in Freeport into Swampland down in Miss Shirley's having a big fine dinner talking to Super Dave down there in Freeport. And Super Dave said Wendell Cooley and Steve Armstrong are going to be the team to beat in this upcoming tag team tournament. Going to start about the end of March or the beginning of April. They're going to have the biggest tag team tournament this place has ever seen with those brand new beautiful USA tag belts. I don't know what they paid for them, but I'll tell you what, Charlie, it had to be a pretty penny. Look at Wildcat shoot that man in. Ooh, vicious right there. There goes Steve to the top, brother. There it is, the buck stops here. Oh, brother. did you Ooh. see that? They call it this the buck shot. This guy is gone. It's over. Oh, there it is. They call it the buck shot, and it looked like he beat it in and got on him, put the scope on him, and pow, baby, it's all over. A big win right here on TV for the Battle Bucks. And uh, Johnny Starr is wondering about what area of the country he's in. Here we come, off the top rope comes flying Steve Armstrong. There you see Johnny Starr and bam! Turned his head completely around, got the pin one, two, three, and your winners on television today, the exciting tag team combination of Wildcat Wendell Cooley and Steve Armstrong, those Bama Bucks. Now, I know you've got titles on your mind. There's a tournament coming up either the latter part of March, 1st of April, for the beautiful U.S. Tag Team Championships, and, and you guys are, are coming on strong. I want to direct a few comments to one team called Simply Divine. I guess for the last few weeks, you've had an easy go of it. You've had your mind tuned in on easy competition. You thought you were going to breeze right through here and get yourself the tag team titles but there was one thing you failed to see, that there was a couple old bucks sitting back home doing nothing, picking on the six strings and drinking some of Mama's iced tea, baby, and we were just chomping at the bit and waiting for a chance to unite together and come in here and show you guys just what it's all about. Now, you can call us back jumpers if you want to. You can call us anything, but there's one thing you can't call us, and that's scared because we came out here last week we looked you right in the eye and we kicked your butt. That's right, Charlie Platt. For the USA is heating up and Dothan, Alabama is right in the middle of things right here. Simply divine. You come out here and talk big and bad. Brother, you ain't gonna steal no rep off these two Alabama bucks. You know that. If you don't know it, you're gonna find it out soon because all around the loop, Birmingham, Montgomery, 
Mobile and Dosen, if you will, right here. We're going to do it live. Simply Divine says we're out here back jumping, people. What do you call back jumping? We just come out there and clean your plow, brother. Simple as that. It's cut. Cut and dry. All Better right. Go. It's heating up in the USA area, and the show heats up from here on out. A lot of action still to come on USA Wrestling. You stay with us. There's more tough ringside action coming up on USA Wrestling. So stay right there. Birmingham, Alabama, March the 15th, special starting time, 7.30 p.m., Batwell Auditorium. We're calling it the Battle of Batwell. USA Wrestling comes, and two of the stars of the USA Wrestling area is Simply Divine. And, guys, I've got to ask you, I've heard that you have filed a formal protest against the Bama Bucks for what happened on TV here. That's right, Jackson. We filed a formal complaint to USA Wrestling. Take a look at this shirt. You see what it says? It says, taking care of business, and that's exactly what Simply Divine plans to do. You see... Steve Armstrong, Wendell Cooley, you come out here, you interfere in our match, you back jumpers from behind, you maybe better change the name from the Bama Bucks to the Bama Back Jumpers. And let me tell you one more thing, you two great white hunters. We don't look like Bambi and Thumper, and that square circle out there sure the heck doesn't look like the Enchanted Forest. You show up March 15th, you got a fight on your hands. Let's hear from the Bama Bucks. That's right, March 15th, the Battle of Boutwell. Everybody's calling it. It's back to Boutwell for these two old good old boys right here. We've been all around the state, all around the world for that matter, but our hearts always stayed right here in the heart of Dixie. And in Boutwell on March 15th, Simply Divine comes in running roughshod, beating the heck out of two old boys last week. And we didn't jump your back. We just come in and just cleaned your plow, if you want to know the honest truth. And as far as being the great white hunters, well, you dang right about that because we always got two guns. I want to tell you loaded. something else, Simply Divine. It's just like this, Jack. You know when you're tracing through the woods and you're hunting the big trophy buck? You walk through the woods and you be as quiet as you can possibly be. Then you pick up the big gun. You get the bead through the scope right there and it, boom, gotcha. Steve, big words. Let me tell you something, boys. I'm telling you right here and right now, I'm making a promise to you, Mike Jackson. I'm making a promise to your stinking fans. And I'm making a promise to the USA Wrestling Commission. Don't come down on us to anything that might happen there in Birmingham because I don't want no fines levy or anything else for something I'm telling you is going to happen. You guys are going down. This special television event also won fall with a 10-minute time limit. In the ring to my right, weighing in at 282 pounds. Tampa, Florida, here is Big Bill Wright. Wright. And ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ringside area, weighing in at 308 pounds from Moscow, Russia, here is the Russian warhead, Boris Zerkov. Zerkov. He has asked that everyone stand for the singing of the Russian national anthem. Well, there you have a who. A little musical interlude there that's not too popular with the fans at ringside, Scott. Yeah, you, without a doubt, Charlie. You said a week or two ago, you said his family saved a lot of money on singing lessons, brother. And I'll tell you, you have never spoken truer words. Side headlock by Bill Wright. Oh, good shoulder smash by Boris Zukov coming off. Up and over his man goes right. And again, the big Russian warhead catches him with, oh, Elbow to the midsection, followed up by an elbow to the back of the neck, and oh, oh gosh, what a vicious stomp right in the back of the man's head. I'll tell you what, this Zukov is unbelievable. Look at the size of this man. He is so strong. So oh, vicious chop knocks Big Blue right off his feet. Well, what's happening in the career of Austin Idol? We'll find that out. Also, uh, hopefully, we'll be we'll be seeing Mr. Tennessee in action later on today's program, and hopefully, some comments on the bullet on how this uh, bounty on his head has gone up here in the last week in the USA Wrestling area. Interesting personality profile with Simply Divine, Steve and Rex. A lot more action coming your way, so you stay with us. There you see the Russian warhead, Boris Zukov. There's that vicious headbutt. That's that vicious headbutt, and so far right here on USA Wrestling, no one has kicked out of it. And there it is. You see, he puts his foot on the throat just to add insult to injury. He controlled the entire match, gave him the headbutt, put the foot on the throat, and one, two, three, Zukov the winner again. Let's uh, take a look at that one. If we could, again, as the Russian warhead, Boris Zukov, uh, 
uh, makes his way over to the desk. Uh, do we have that, uh, again, the uh, slow motion part of that uh, vicious headbutt by the Russian warhead Boris Zukov? The largest, hardest head in wrestling. No man gets up with a headbutt. No opponent will get up with a headbutt. And the competition gets tougher each week in USA Wrestling. I know you have a lot of things on your mind. I like it, but I have on my direction the warhead going in one direction, one particular individual. And right here next week, I'm going to start making examples. You can count on it, because if Zukov says something, he's going to do it. He's not like all you Americans talk about what you're going to do and not do anything about it. I'm going to like your new president. He's going to do this, he's going to do that. He's done nothing because of not the problem. I do what I say. I carry out my promise. That uh, remains to be seen, and uh, according to him, starting next week, examples are going to be made of anybody who gets in the ring with him here at USA Wrestling. Interesting personality profile. This week, we had a chance to sit down and talk with Rex and Steve. They are Simply Divine. Welcome to our personality profile segment of USA Wrestling. Two unique personalities today. That is Steve and Rex Simply divine. Sweet Steve and sexy Rex. Uh, well, get it right. I stand corrected there. And you can you're one of the you most devastated, that. devastating tag team combinations to ever come through this part of the country. We'll say that. You'll note the uh, tag title belt sitting on the uh, table in front of us. Soon to be well, ours, Mike. Just a matter yeah. of time. Oh, okay. Well, and at the end of March or first of April, there will be a tournament sanctioned by USA Wrestling to determine the tag team championships. It's just a formality. You know, we've held the belt. In 21 different countries. That's right. You count them. 21 different well, countries. Excuse me. I, I hate to correct anyone like you corrected me a moment ago, but what at 19 last week? Hey, we've been busy. Okay? We've been 15 real busy, the week okay? before. We've been, been busy. Yeah, you know, we've been we, week after week. We come out here on TV week after week, just so all the ladies can get a good look at what a real man is supposed to look like. Now we have mowed down everybody that USA Wrestling has put before us. It's not going to stop there. Not until we put these belts around our waist, just like we do everywhere we go. And when it's, when it's all said and done, and we're through, and we want to retire, that's when we move on, and we conquer some other new territories. All right, as I was saying a little bit earlier, there are devastating tag team combinations, Simply Divine. Let's take a look at some action in which they have been uh, going against uh, competitors here in the USA okay, area. Let's, let's, yeah, look let's look at this. We, we always like to watch ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> and they know wrestling, so they're going to be a damn look at that move. They're roughhousing dudes, but so are Ricky Morton and Robert Gibson. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that? Nobody's going to get up from that. And they're not either. That was an impressive showing. That is it. Your winners of the match, Simply Divine Rex. Count of two, and he, power, and he pulls his man up. No power out there. The, the match should be over with. Wait a minute. Oh, double. There's that double DDT. And it's over. Your winners of the match, Rex and Steve, Simply Divine. And there you see him. <laughs> nice ride. Uh, Bad landing. Totally devastating, that double What do you think about that, Charlie? Hey, let me tell you something. You know, there's not another tag team in the nation. You can watch any other national television show right now, and there is not another team in the nation that week after week comes out here in the middle of the ring on TV and wrestles the top tag teams in the nation like Simply Divine does. And we well, mow them all down, I might add. Uh, pairs of opponents were top in the nation. Is that what are you're you trying to Are you saying they're less than par? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Well, These guys are great. They, would... they, they have won match, top matches against other guys in other federations all over the country. These are some of the top guys right here. Well, it's, it's my job to stay mutual in this situation. I would say That's the, the first that. two weeks you had a good role going, but all good things come to an end as we saw last week after you had... Uh, completely demolish the tag team combination that's that we're right opponents. we beat them right there in the middle just like we do everything we do well, One, i turned two, some top three. tag team competitors entered the ring and we have a tape of uh, what happened with a couple we've of old Bama Bucks that came in last week. They don't want to see any more tape. They don't want to see any more tape. They want to talk to the real Bama Bucks. Let's roll that and see what happened last week. Well, Sean, this isn't right, Charlie. It's not right at all. Well, here we go. The double DDT, brother. Is there a human on Earth that can kick out of that? I want to know. None that I know of. No, oh, no. They're go are they going to do it? 
Oh, they're just going to th they just throw him oh. right over this. Oh, he hit his back on the apron. Oh. I tell you what, Charlie, it, it, it may be better to go on and walk away and come back to fight another day, so they say. Now they take uh, the man who's been on the floor the whole match. He finally gets a chance to come in the ring, and they double DDT him too, Charlie. And I tell you what, like you said, they're running rough shot. There's no call for it. And the kick's being applied to the head of, of Holiday out on the floor. What next? What ne it looks like they're going to try the, the old spike pile. That's it. Spike pile driver drove his head right into his neck. He, that boy, he may be suffering serious head and neck damage. And now they're bringing Holiday back into the ring. Looks like, the, looks like they're going to do Holloway, Holiday the same way, Charlie. I just Wait, Wait a minute. Whoa! Who is, Whoa. Who is that? I know who that is. That's a Steve Armstrong and a Wildcat Wendell Cooper. That's exactly right, Charlie. Boom! Elbow yeah, well, drop kick takedown. All right. Ryan. Oh, Ryan into the ring. They got him there in the roof. There it is. Whoa! He's oh, gone. Yeah, well, close right. Oh, oh, over oh. their feet. Look at him, Charlie. They are fired up, brother. Well, the tables have turned here, and we see a haste. That's hey, exactly what we're talking about, Charlie. You see these guys? They come out here. They back jumpers from behind. They just have no business stepping in the ring with Simply Divide. That's why we're filing a formal complaint. That's why we are going to be hey, the new World Tag Team right Champions. Wendell Cool, you're talking about you're sitting at home collecting your welfare check, and all of a sudden you get a phone Wait, call. Man. It's a friend of yours, Steve Armstrong. Let me tell you they about something. Jumping. You think you're going to come right in here, step up from behind, and we're just up here and take it lying down. You've got another thing coming. I'm a box. You better get ready because it doesn't make a difference. This we're we're, 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 we're sick and tired of this Charlie Presley. I read it simply divine. And, hey, that's our personality profile for this week. USA Wrestling continues after this brief pause. here to tell you about the super extravaganza coming your way March the 15th 7 30 p.m. of Batwell Auditorium the Battle of Batwell I'm here with two of the top stars in the USA Boris Zukov yeah, Alabama everybody in Alabama is talking about the Alabama football team and now they're talking about America's team the Dallas Cowboys well March the team and Battle Auditorium you're going to be talking about Boris Zukov the Russian warhead and I have my warhead aimed at one particular individual right now and when the warhead comes down on an opponent's head a man's life is never the same. Sheik, I understand you finally had a challenger. You know, Mr. Jackson, you've been around the Birmingham, Alabama many years. You are an intelligent American to you make to the U.S. Uh, Wrestling Federation. And also you know about your country football team and a basketball and a power with lifter and also a lot of top in the U.S. Uh, wrestling, for example, Armstrong family, some another generation, some another, Mr. Austin other, another, another, a lot of them I can't even remember telling them they're bully, but now, this is a $10,000 check, a special March 15, Birmingham, Alabama. I know a lot of tough men in the Birmingham, Birmingham, farmer, whatever, a special team. I heard one of the greatest team, Mr. Austin Adler, come with that of all the people over. That's the hot top star. If does such a top, why they don't come challenge Aaron Shikla? Now, March 15, Birmingham, Alabama, I'm going to bring my club, and I want to know how many top American can come challenge with Aaron Sheik. Ya Allah, Ya Muhammad. Now, watch me and tell that young generation. Ya Allah, Ya Ali. Look at this. Look at this thing. No one can do it. No American can More great wrestling action still to come on USA Wrestling Plus. That $10,000 challenge with the Iron Sheik live in our studio today. Also, when you think of great careers in professional wrestling, you would have to think about one of the top box office attractions in the history of professional wrestling. We're talking about the Universal Heartthrob Austin Idol. Let's take a look at the Universal Heartthrob Austin Idol and a bit of the history of his career. You'll probably recognize some of the faces you see in this particular piece of videotape.
recently, Austin Idol picks up where he left off some two years ago. After the automobile injury, we'd like to get him to come out for a few words right now. The Universal Heartthrob, Austin Idol. And, and Austin, you've got a lot of things happening in your career just quickly. Another message from TF. Well, I did receive another message from this mysterious TF, and I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, but it was basically the same type of a deal. Quit before it's too late. I'm paying no attention to that. The reason I'm out here now is to watch this $10,000 Persian Club uh, challenge. And we're about ready for that to get underway right now. Let's go to the ring. Here's Mike Jackson. I'm in the ring. We have the $10,000 challenge. I have been presented a check. David Clements from Dolphin is the first public challenger. The Iron Sheik will pr demonstrate the proper technique. Okay. The master of the Persian Club. Hey, you the star of this guy, sir. <laughs> The Iron Sheik, they weigh 75 pounds apiece. He will represent the proper technique. They must be done this way. Any American wrestler that will do as many as he does, he will do double. Or $10,000. All right, David, your time. Do as many as you can. He'll have to double it, David, if you can do it. David's got him up. I know, I'll show you one more time the, the corruption. And I'll not you because the sign is who is the red chocolate. The Iron Sheik will represent one more time. The Iranian nation will do them one more time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 75 pound Persian clubs. Well, the first the challenge here also didn't get past first base on that deal, but well, 75 pound Persian clubs, that's a, that's a tall, tall order right there. It's obviously a very difficult maneuver, you know, I'm not quite sure what. Seth, Charlie, give me the record. Mr. Austin I know you are all American hero. I know all. Across the coast, they know who you are, but I think you are like all that American overseas, like the captain, like the pilot. You don't know how to fly the airplane. You don't know how to easy saw that Persian goes. How we bring the American pilot, captain down. You gonna be locked out, I think. You are American cover. You are nobody, and I'm gonna shoot you in the ring. Ah, top. Uh, comments of the uh, Iron Sheik and not quite making out everything was said. Do you have any closing comments on the matter? Well, Charlie, I guess what he's saying is I can't do it, and maybe I can do it, but I'll tell you something. Before I even tried something like that, I'd want to research it and see how you could train for that. Exactly. The Universal Heart Throb Austin Idol. More great action still to come on USA Wrestling. You stay with us. USA Wrestling continues. Don't you dare go away. A Country Music Association Female Vocalist of the Year, an upset victory for Mary. Birmingham, Alabama, March the 15th, special 7.30 p.m. starting time. Batwell Auditorium, the Battle of Batwell, and one of the great matches that everybody's talking about. One of the things that are happening in the USA is this thing with the mask, and I understand that Jim Cornette has put even a higher bounty on the bullet's mask. I'd like to ask you right now, Mr. Tennessee, how much is that bounty? Well, Mr. Jackson, let me tell you right now, it's none of your business how much it is. Monday, March the 15th, right there, Battle of Batwell. Bullet, you're not going to make it to Birmingham that night. You're not going to make it. You might as well go on back home because before Batwell, you're out of here, baby. And let me tell you, there's a lot of you that's been going around trying to snoop out just to see how much that bounty is. Well, let me tell you, brother, I can live high on the hog back in this great state of Tennessee for a long time for what that bounty is. But let me tell you, Monday, March the 15th, Battle of Birmingham. Bullet, be ready. You're not going to make it. Let's hear from the bullet. You know, how many times have I walked that aisle in Boutwell Auditorium? Now the Battle of Boutwell is coming. Mr. Tennessee from the great state of Tennessee, who Bama beat like a dog this year. I'm going to do the same thing to you, Mr. Tennessee. I don't care how much money you got offered. If it's 10 cents or $10,000, it doesn't matter to me. Cornette's mother can write you a blank check as far as I'm concerned. You can fill in the blanks. 
because I'm going to fill in your teeth with this old Alabama ham ball when I get to Boutwell. I'm tired of looking out of the back of my head with them eyes I got back there that I've had to have lately. Every time I try to wrestle, you come get the mask, make the money, get the mask, you bounty hunter. Brother, I ain't wanted dead or alive. You going to be in serious trouble when we get to Boutwell. Mr. Tennessee, I understand Jim Cornette is making a personal appearance with you on this TV station next week. That's right, right here on channel 18, baby. Right here, right here, Jimmy Cornette, my protege, the man that's going to put me on top, the man that's going to pay me a lot of money, a lot of money to put Bullet out. So come right there Monday, March the 15th, you're going to go out, Cornette. This television main event, one fall with the expiration of TV time. In the ring, weighing in at 226 pounds from the homeless Indian tribe, would you welcome Stanley Little Bear, Little Bear. And his opponent, making his way to ringside, 238 pounds from the great state of Tennessee, here is Mr. Tennessee, Tennessee. Tennessee climbing in the ring with Stanley Little Bear on this edition of USA Wrestling. Joining me at, at the desk, the bullet. And hey, a little more extra extra incentive the price on your head. That's exactly right. I feel like I'm the target of this body hunter. And I just wanted to watch him wrestle. You know, every week I wrestle here, Charlie. Have to have eyes in the back of my head. Two weeks in a row he's tried to take this mask off. So this time I want to make him look out for me. All righty. And they tie up collared elbow and it's oh. Mr. Tennessee shoves away at Little Bear. Got his man over on those ring ropes. Yeah, Mr. Tennessee, he's kind of a rangy dude. You know, he weighs about 245 pounds. He looks to be about 6'4", so he's definitely dangerous. Look at that. He nearly took the man's head off. Well, according to the man, we have uh, next week the opportunity to look forward to an added bit of danger around here, and that's uh, Jim Cornette. Well, I've heard that he's uh, got a master plan with Jim Cornette and his mother. He'll be down here. I understand, so I'll have to really be on my P's and Q's next week. There he goes, head first into the uh, turnbuckle. There you go. Uh, there he goes. He's uh, chopping away. Good forearm smash by Little Bear, or on Little Bear, by Mr. Tennessee. And Little Bear fires back. And he's going good. Good shoulder smash into the midsection of Mr. Tennessee. Into the turnbuckle he goes now. Oh, there's that awaiting boot. And that'll take the wind out of his sail. That's right. He's a pretty wily character, all right. And he's got this hold he calls the Tennessee Jam, I believe. That finishes most of his opponents. All righty. Now we see Mr. Tennessee taunting the crowd. Taunting the crowd. And the bullet goes over to ringside. And in a minute, here he goes. Oh, what a pile driver move there. That's exactly right. He calls out the Tennessee Jam. There's no such punishment man like that. But, you know, when you don't have to. He was just punishing probably to show me something. But I've seen enough of this, Mr. Tennessee. But I'm ready for him. What? I'm telling you, I'm fixing to run you out, Big Daddy, whether you like it or not. Well, let me, why don't you just try it right now? Is there anything holding you back right now? No, no, no. There's a time for you, Daddy. Next week, we've got a special plan. Me and Mr. Cornell. Shut up. Well, brother, thanks for the warning. I'll be ready, brother, anytime. There you hear the comments from the bullet, and we have some special highlights. And hey, you fundraisers, play, pay close attention to what you're about to see. Wait a minute. We got something going on here. We've got the bullet firing away at Mr. Tennessee. As I was saying, Let's take a look at uh, some highlights from last week's show. You fundraisers, raisers, pay close attention to the number on your screen. to have USA Wrestling in your area as a fundraiser, be sure 
And call that number on your screen right now, 904-434-7973. I've asked the bullet to come back out here. Uh, hey, a lot's happening with you, Mr. Tennessee, and Jim Cornett, and is heating up. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to lose my temper, but, you, you know, the two weeks in a row he's tried to take this mask off. I've had to look for him everywhere, and I think you got to film. He tried something last week that didn't work. We can take a look at that and watch last it. Last week was supposed to be the week the mask came off. Let's take a look, uh, Jerry, if we could, at what happened with uh, the bullet and Mr. Tennessee last week. The bullet! The bullet! Here's a bullet in action against this eliminator here on USA Wrestling, and the bullet catches uh, a little surprise entrance into the ring by the eliminator. Good reversal by the bullet into the sleeper. Under the, the sleeper, he's got it on him, and lo and behold, bullet said he better have eyes in the back of his head, and he was. He had him. Well, we got two on one right now, and Mr. Tennessee. Well, Mr. Tennessee having a bit of a problem. Hey, it's oh, over. He got him. He got him, brother. He sees what is. There's a good boot. And again, Mr. Tennessee, he's having a hard time standing up. Mr. Tennessee can't seem to get in the ring. Bullet like looks, he said he's going to pull Bullet's mask off. Look like he's pulling his mask off. It looks like the mask's gone. He's got the mask. He's it got is it. gone. He got the mask and the people here love it. And there you see your winner of the match. In the... Now there you have it. I got his mask. I appreciate everybody's support because, you know, I need somebody to watch my back. If you got a man like Mr. Tennessee at your back all the time with Cornette's mother's money behind it, brother, i got a rough road to hoe, so I appreciate everybody out here. Appreciate him telling me when he's coming because I don't have eyes in the back of my head. I'll tell you one thing, though. You can come as long as you like, and I'll be ready. And here's a man that don't mind watching my back at any time, any place, and that's a hard drive, Austin Iowa. I'll tell you what, yes, you do have eyes in the back of your head because I can promise you one thing. I need them in the back of my head. we got a lot of things happening. In USA Wrestling, Charlie, the bullet knows it, and I know it, and I'll tell you something. I got a telephone call the other day from Tokyo, Japan, and it's from the wrestling promoters over there. They've already, it's like a shot that's been heard around the world. I mean, not only in Dothan, but Montgomery, but Mobile, and Birmingham. I mean, USA Wrestling is placing these cities on the map as if they weren't already there with every other sports tradition that's been going on. But I can tell you one thing, Bullet, I don't care if it's Mr. Tennessee, whoever it is, when there's a problem, if there's a problem, and we know there's going to be a problem, I'm going to be right there keeping an eye out for you like I know you'll be watching for me. Next week on USA Wrestling, I want to inject this in right now. We've got another elimination match for this junior heavyweight title. Magnificent Magliano will take on one of the top seeds. That is Davey Rich. That'll be live on television next week here on USA Wrestling. Also... A lot of things going on uh, around the USA area would include a special presentation we'll have for uh, the popular junkyard dog next week. And uh, certainly want to join us for that, a special presentation for the junkyard dog. If you want USA Wrestling as a fundraiser in your area, 904-434-7973. And what kind of action we'll see next week. I have a question. I heard through the grapevine that there's a possibility that the great Emmett Smith may be on this program next week with the Dallas Cowboys. We could very well hear some comments from the great Emmett Smith as Cowboy Mania. Hey, it's going wild, about like Idol Mania, huh? And Bama Fever. Thank you for joining us on this edition of USA Wrestling. The action gets better each week. Come join us here at the studios in Dothan at 1.30 any Saturday afternoon or watch it on your favorite television station. We'll see you next week, folks. watching you S.A. Wrestling. Be sure to